Hi there Aquarius, welcome to a special series of love readings for people who are in relationships where they are fractured and you want it to be healed or you're not in a relationship but you want to get back with an ex. It's called Can This Relationship Be Healed? It's not meant for situations involving physical or extreme emotional abuse however because that's a little bit more serious but before I begin I just received a comment on another video that um, mentioned that they like my videos but that uh, there was excessive talking and if that's how people feel that's because they're looking for just tell me what's going to happen to my life and that's not how it works I know some people will tell you that's how it works and it's a fun game to play, but I really believe that you call the shots in your life for the most part. Yes, I do believe certain things are faded, but even those things I believe that you um, designed for your life before this lifetime. But either way, to me, if you just look at your life as some set of predictions then that is copping out of your life and that is being lazy about your own destiny and hey there are plenty of people who will shut up and just lay out some cards for you and tell you what's going to happen and you can call it a day but that's not what I do so that's why I yak on and on incessantly so what I'm going to be doing here is I'm going to be picking a card from this Crystal Vision deck that is going to be shadow work that you can do um, that you may, you know, th that's what's fun about picking cards because we can look at what comes up, the synchronicity of the card. But it's about work that you may have to do regarding your own part in attracting relationships that may be problematic. Maybe there's a pattern in your life. And when people are not awake, they just go around saying, oh man, this person's doing this, they're doing that. And they just think that they are completely devoid of any responsibility in the situation. And it's like, no, actually you have a lot to do with what's happening because you're a part of the relationship. If you don't want to be part of the relationship, you can leave. But how many people leave when they're unhappy? Not everyone leaves. And sometimes people leave when the relationship is good because they don't feel that they deserve love. And so they will act like, oh, I'm bored, I'm this, I'm that. So there's patterns all over the place that can actually be... Um, creating issues. Now this is the Morgan Greer deck and I'm going to be shuffling these cards and doing a spread that's going to look at the situation at hand and then pick one of those other cards for the shadow work of what you can do, what maybe you need to do more of or less of regarding a particular issue surrounding your love life. And I am going to be putting out my typical monthly love readings in the near future. That's another thing I wanted to let you know, so just check back on my channel probably sometime next week. But I'll, I, I, I confess, that kind of irritates me when people say things like that, because it's not like I just am looking for some excuse to, to, to ramble on and on. There's a method to my madness here.
pick an additional card because of the... I'm giving Ding this card over and over again. Which makes sense because it's the, the card of um, happy marriage. Ooh, this is your shadow work. <laughs> the devil. <laughs> I wonder if um, uh, some of you guys are connected to a um, Capricorn individual because the devil card connects to Capricorn. And um, that would be very interesting. It's interesting how they depict the devil in this deck. It's more of like a temptress. Kind of like that... Um, Empress card in a way. But anyhow, anywho, the three cards, I guess it doesn't matter where I start here, that th these are the heart, the heart of the matter of the situation. The first one is the, um, the Two of Swords. Um, well, let me just see these other cards because that might give me more of a hint. Um, I would say that for some people there may be two parties involved, and that could be even on your end. I was even going to say, are any of you involved with your fellow fixed sign Taurus? Because the Empress connects to Taurus. And um, we have the three of pentacles, but of course not only is pentacles connected to Earth, so the other Earth signs... Again, with the Capricorn, that's an Earth sign, and um, Virgo also. But um, the number three can indicate three parties involved. And this card is a card of feeling this sense of not being able to choose. So perhaps the rift in the relationship is on your end of things. Maybe you are kind of torn between whether or not to stay with a partner or, or whether or not to leave because there's um, another party involved. This this um, Aquarius card is um, your card and this is the, the higher message. So if there are two parties involved and one happens to be an Aquarian, I would say that the spiritual message is that this person is more of a but it is a is a better choice for you. I have a feeling that um, that person is, if that's the person that you're choosing from, it's not your spouse. It's somebody that you met afterwards. But it's so weird because I'm now that I think about it, I don't think I've ever known two people that were Aquarians that were together. I don't know if that's a rarity or if that happens more than I know. But there could be a choice that has to be made, and this too is with swords. So it's about choosing one of those people may be a sword, and you are a sword because of the air element. The other air signs are um, Gemini and, and Libra, but as I said, that star card uh, could be a literal person of the sign of Aquarius. Now, what that card represents is hope restored. So it could be simply that you've met somebody that gives you a positive feeling after being maybe in the, the wilderness in your life because you're with the wrong person. And what the, the message of the star card would be is as a spiritual message is that the way that you make the decision, that's making the decision, is who impacts you in a positive way and who drags you down? Sometimes it's as simple as that, and sometimes it's very clear when you look at it that way. Now, why would somebody be torn about deciding whether or not to stay with a, a former partner or not? As an earth sign, <laughs> I'm sorry, as a fixed sign, you are somebody that is very leery of change. You tend to kind of prefer the tried and the true, even though Aquarius is associated with being kind of like um, future-oriented uh, future or um, unconventional or you're, you're a ruler 
Uranus is very um, unpredictable. It's kind of a paradox because Aquarians can be very stuck in their ways, believe it or not. And so whether it's that for that reason or because you have a family and you're just, or, or maybe you have feelings for that person, who knows? The other card that I got was the judgment card, which is connected to um, legal matters, like a legal judgment, but it's about karma, okay? It's about cause and effect. And one possibility is that it's saying, you know, like when you get involved in a situation like this, then you have to face the music um, of having to make this agonizing decision. But it, a lot of times people think karma is punishment. And that's the thing that I want to kind of get away from because karma simply means action. And so you take an action and there is going to be a reverberation in the universe. It's going to, it's going to come back in some way. And sometimes that reverberation means that it opens up a space for you to find true love. Whereas before you were in a negative situation, um, I'm not advocating cheating, by the way. Um, I would, I think that it's better that people, if they find out they're incompatible with a partner, that they just leave that relationship. But sometimes there are extenuating circumstances. And I'm not going to go into some of those things, but I don't like to just be moralizing and saying, okay, that's wrong and that's terrible. I do think that it's not a good situation, though. I think that when you're when you're sneaking around, you're, you're not being in your integrity. And in that case, that's even talking about that too, is that um, when you do things like that, you have to face the music. And sometimes that means that the other person may retaliate, um, your, your partner. This can also mean sexuality. So we have these two cards, the devil and um, the empress can be that sensual side of life, kind of rearing its ugly head. Not that it's just really evil, but it can be excessive, right? And people can fall under its sway and sometimes destroy good relationships be because they, they have this um, craving. And um, let's just look at this shadow card. This can point to situations involving uh, temptation. You see the, the apple, <laughs> the apple of the tree of life. I'm getting uh, distracted because the phone is ringing, but I'm going to just keep muscling on here. Sorry for that interruption. Um, but this, as I said, can connect with the sign of Capricorn. And so this may have been somebody that you got involved with, but on the other hand, it can just be a weakness in, in your nature that has a tendency to gravitate towards um, sensuality when it is destructive in your life, and that's something to look at. This may be something of your partner and their problems that they're having. I haven't gotten the same thing for everyone. In some cases, um, I've gotten cards that suggested addiction issues. There, are, It depends on the individual. But the other thing that this could relate to is if you feel torn between deciding whether or not to do something, it could be because you are, are um, in a relationship with somebody who has a nice paycheck. And and because uh, um, the devil card can relate to excessive materialism. I don't typically associate that with Aquarius, but of course, being next to Capricorn, you may have a lot of uh, inner planets in Capricorn or even, um, yeah, just things like that, or rising signs, things, things that might influence you in that direction. 
And that can make you stay in relationships that overall are toxic or unsatisfying. The advice is the Five of Pentacles. This is a card of lack consciousness. Look at the area. Look at how this may play out in your life. And this kind of goes very much with what I was just talking about. If you feel that um, this is a big driving force in your life, like you're afraid of this outcome, what can happen is that you can make decisions based on wanting um, or being afraid of not having enough material resources. So staying in a marriage that is unsatisfying or even degrading in some way because let's say your partner is cheating but you're staying in it because it's a comfortable life for you the pay the trade-off may not be what you think it is you may think that you're getting this great thing in return and you're not so you really have to look at it because um, that can affect other areas of life too when you don't feel like you are in a love relationship with that person that you are under the same roof with, don't un underestimate how destructive that can be in all areas of your life. Then the outcome, and I did pick an additional card because of the, the implication of this card, the outcome is a card of betrayal. It's a card of hitting bottom. Um, that's why I all I tend to pick another card if this is an outcome card because I, I don't want to say, okay, now you're going to be betrayed. Have a nice day. Um, this is actually, number 10 relates to the end of a cycle. So this could be about allowing yourself to really let sink in what has happened. If this is the other person who has betrayed you with, infidelity. You may be in denial. Um, some Aquarians are not necessarily jealous people, but you may not like infidelity because you don't like deception. You don't want somebody lying to you. And it may hurt on that level. So you need to really get in touch with it. Don't uh, distract yourself from it. And in some cases, you need to see that this relationship is over with, and that's how you heal. And um, what that can make space for, the other card that I picked is the Four of Wands, which is a happy union, a happy home. When you don't, when you, um, don't trust the person you're with, that's, that's kind of hellish, which I would associate with um, the Devil card. I mean, that's, that's a hellish situation. When you feel like you are suspicious of the person that you share a bed with or, you, or you're under the same roof with. And this is the card of like really getting clear on what you want. And if this is your end game, if this is what you want, then you have to take actions that get you closer to this. And staying in a relationship with the devil is probably not going to get you there. Okay, well, that's what I have for you, Aquarius. I hope that this resonated with some of you. If you'd like a private reading, I have a special right now through the end of 2017, which is 20% off of all my readings, including my love readings. And um, the coupon code is Jupiter at checkout. And um, yeah, so have a great rest of the year. And take care of yourselves. Bye.